As we look to the future, the next three to five years, we'll start to see, as we are across a lot of industries, new technologies, predominantly around blockchain, which enables, through the computer connections, to verify accurately trusted information. So whereas previously a lawyer might have to certify that a particular document, a particular certificate is valid and correct, there will be a machine that is able to tell you at a much greater degree of accuracy. But the ASX, the Australian Securities Exchange, in the next year or so, will start to do share trading and the certificates attached to them through blockchain. Let's look at it from a client perspective. Are you a technology startup? Are you an agricultural business? Are you a manufacturing business? All of them will be concerned around artificial intelligence, blockchain, and other technologies. And so the lawyer of the future will certainly need to understand and have competence around contemporary security issues, privacy issues, as I said, e-discovery issues, but also blockchain, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. No one expects your lawyer to be a programmer, a coder, but you do expect them to engage with their clients with a level of understanding to give the right advice in the right way. I actually see the legal profession over the next 10 to 20 years changing quite dramatically. Where the difference will be will be the mid-tier firms. That probably is, I'm talking the 12 partners to 50 partners, that sort of size firm. Because they're competing against a growth in boutique firms. I see certainly a growth of boutique firms where people will have said worked in either a large firm or a firm that has got a strong area, say family law or intellectual property, biotechnology, and they are able to go out on their own based on the clientele they've built up, the cases they've worked on, the clients they've worked with. Things are constantly changing, particularly in law where it's driven by legislation and obviously a developing case law. Now there is a distinction between technical matters, as I said, keeping up to date with case law legislation, and there are some very good systems, both electronically available to your inbox, as well as obviously the reading and courses and interactions. But there's also the whole area of practice management and actually learning new skills and new understanding. And one of the things I hope for is that we may be able to, as, a, as UNE being a major online provider, that we may be able to provide some of these skills and knowledge to the existing legal profession. One of the things we'll be introducing in 2020 is in fact a capstone unit, probably to be called Technology in the Law. And in fact, it will be split into two, the first half focusing on client practice, on what are the technologies the large firms use, the mid-tier firms, the individual sole practitioner, as well as legal aid and uh, government agencies, and of course, corporates. The second half of the course will focus very much on clients and what are the technologies they are engaging with.